Welcome to the Nappy Boy Radio Podcast. I am your homeboy, T-Pain, a.k.a. your girlfriend's boyfriend. Who's taking it? I am uh, Vanessa Fraction, hashtag Action Fraction, the main attraction, your partner's distraction. And I am the Black Amigo, a.k.a. the Margarita Messiah, a.k.a. the purveyor of Pedialyte. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you tonight. Every time we have a show, it's just a great <laughs> show. We, 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 we love doing this. We always have great guests. And guess what? I just learned how to stop putting asses on the back of people's <laughs> Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, ladies you and did. gentlemen, give it up for Gary Owen. <laughs> uh, there's only one place where we can go to see freaky hoes doing shows, doing tricks to make us holler. Sound Thanks. Effects, yeah. The sound effects happened in in in, in post. I'm Already sorry. blew it. Been here for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting more. Never up. knew my name. Just, <laughs> didn't even fucking. Know. Never knew my name. In his didn't home. even fucking. In his food. Oh, if no. it if it helps it if it helps at all, the amount of times I've been called Ti have been astronomical. Really? <laughs> yeah. I would have more called you Clifford or Ti. <laughs> I would have called you by his real name, not his stage name. I mean, you kind of look like a Cliff. <laughs> I, mean, I, I could take a Clifford or, 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 or Gerard. Look Cliffy. A, a Gerard? Gerard. Some of the I rappers. Say Jamal. Yeah, I was like Gerard. Jamal, Jamal, with a, Jamal is, is. No, Jamal with a JH. Jamal is reserved for skinny people. It, really? Yeah. Well, Every like Jamal a, I know is well, very you know, skinny. No, no homie, you're like slim thick, though. I mean, I appreciate it. I, <laughs> slim thick. I, I feel sexy now. I feel sexy. <laughs> Gee, what's slim? been popping, man? What do you got, dude? What's been going on? Nothing. <laughs> this is it. Like, my whole career, I was like, when's he going to call? And finally, <laughs> God, talk about struggling. Oh, my God. I can't believe <laughs> it, man. Finally, I'm on Team Rage podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's the only uh, thing I've been waiting on. There's a lot of people that still don't know this exists. So I, I called. I called. But, nah. but you, you, have, you do have a lot of shit going on. And it's, uh, how the fuck do you do that? What do you mean? Like, how did your schedule? Because, okay, I have a hard time balancing things. Mm -hmm. And I always fill my time up with just utter bullshit. Mm. <laughs> and I feel like, like when I wake up in the morning, I feel like, what am I supposed to be doing? I feel like I need to be doing something, but you actually have shit to do. Right. You know? oh, like <laughs> a <laughs> divorce. Uh -huh. <laughs> just... Very time consuming. <laughs> that'll, that'll take Very your time, time up consuming. right there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. I got to meet my lawyer again. Meetings, meetings, meetings. <laughs> but you can't like pick, you can't like pick the shit you want to do for the day. And you actually have to like get up and you have a, like a list of shit per day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you? What the fuck? What's a day? To, what's, what, what, what is a day to day in the life of Gary Owens? Not a lot. <laughs> Take that S off. Not a lot. Take that S orange off. theory. Oh. Take that S off. We start off with a little orange theory. <laughs> then we get orange a smoothie. Theory. I went to that shit exactly once. Really? Yeah. I like it. They were they they at the end of it they were like okay so. Maybe don't wear Jordans next time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you with the fashion show? Yeah, I was like, bro, this is the what the fuck? I like these. Yeah. These are basketball shoes. Yeah, yeah, you shoes. can't put a crease in them. But That's people, clear. but people exude energy in these shoes. I feel like they're okay to wear to workouts, right? That's what not, is Orange no. Theory? I don't, I don't. Orange Theory Fitness. Orange they do Theory like is, a, is a goddamn death camp. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like sixty minutes. I actually DJ these death camps at times. Oh, okay. Believe it or not. Fun. Yeah, you go in there. They put like a wristband. That's like one of those little explosive collars. Or something. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It's like an explosive collar on your neck, really. But it's on your hand. <laughs> Say the and Hunger then, Games. <laughs> and then you have to stay in the red. If you go in green, then it'll like shake and vibrate and make and your whole shit go the, numb. Red's the big one. Yeah. Red is, the big one. Yeah. Oh, red is good. If you stay in that the red, like so then, much pressure. Yeah, your but heart, yeah, it's, it's like your heart. It's like gray. Yeah. Is you're just sitting around. We'd all be in gray right now. Okay. Yeah. But when he said Owens, I went straight to red. Right. <laughs> it's gray. It's gray, blue, green, orange, red. You, okay. you, once you get into orange and red, that lets you know you're going to be burning calories all day. Got I mean, yeah. I feel like it's a missed opportunity That's, to it, not it have is. orange be the top. But they yeah. love when I'm DJing because they don't know they're about to die. Okay. So well, that's not fair. Yeah. Well, I don't I mean, like, no. I just don't, I, I, 
I just don't see the point. <laughs> the, the point of the point of Orange Theory. I'm just working out it. What's all. your theory about it? You said working my, out the, it all. my theory of Orange Theory. First of all, like I said, they missed the opportunity on making the top thing orange. Okay. So like you don't get in the red. It doesn't like, make sense. Make sure you, you get it. to the orange. Like yeah. you know, it's 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 that. But also, it's like. Why are you putting everybody else in my business? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, people, well, you're motivated. Everybody can see how hard you're actually working out. Yeah, oh, it's like a screen, so and you're. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like a mm -hmm. fucking video game, and everybody's trying to beat each other and doing it. And they're like, Kathy's fucking killing it. And you're like, fuck you, Kathy. Right. You can't I ain't gonna lie, it is my I feel like the boy like this, who's Rob? <laughs> and you look around, there's four dudes in the room, you're going, which one of you motherfuckers is Rob? <laughs> which one of you motherfuckers? I've got 1,500 right. calories. <laughs> trip, mother <laughs> and, and you know what the fucked up thing is? In, in our Orange Theory, they have they just tell you what workouts to do and just get to them when you get to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we're supposed to be doing, like, uh, sit-ups, like you got to do 20 sit-ups and then go straight to the treadmills and mm -hmm. then go to the bikes, it's mother on the bikes while I'm still doing sit-ups. And I'm like, that's no, you, that you're making everybody fucking feel bad. Here's the worst part about here's the worst part about Orange Theory though is when they the music bumping and you in the middle like running or you got your weights going and then you got the instructor trying to give you motivational speeches. I don't need that. You're better today than you were yesterday. Yeah, because you're here today. During your, your, get your up. one minute break, it ain't fun though. It's not fun. Like they, it. they play You're too busy. They play your jams. And now I have a bad connotation with my own fucking songs. Now I feel like when Ooh. I hear low, I have to be working. <laughs> See, man, I swear to God, I wouldn't do this, but after today, I'm literally going to be on the rower and be like, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my friend. <laughs> no, you know those guys, those guys, when they know somebody famous and they don't know you're in the business? Right. And like, yeah, yeah, my brother's friend cuts his hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my brother Frank yeah, cuts you know his hair. You know who my dad is? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Buy him a drink. He poured me one yeah. at his house. He poured me one. Yeah. His fucking wife made I, me my own drink. I brought yeah, my club wow. soda. Because <laughs> T-Pain has own. every liquor, every mixer, Everything. but what I wanted. Exactly the one thing that you wanted. We had one of them. The biggest bottle. Club you tried soda. E-40s wine? I have tried E-40s wine. It is actually pretty cool. I've tried, mm -hmm. I've tried it too. I actually tried it in Vegas at the uh, what was it, the bar and nightclub conference about. Maybe that was like a flex. A, that was a cool flex. It's light. <laughs> <laughs> I literally saw him and I was just like, "Oh shit, is E40?" And he was handing out samples of the wine. So I recently mm -hmm. tried it. Too. You generous. have to do that. You have to do that. What what does? Because I've never had it. What does club soda taste like? Nothing. No. Oh yeah. Mm mm. I don't like sweet drinks though. I don't like nothing sweet. Iced tea unsweetened, water. If I get almond milk water, unsweetened, unsweetened original, unsweetened water, unsweetened water. <laughs> coffee black. I don't like any flavor in Just drinks. Nothing, huh? Mm. That's why like like club soda and vodka. You That's all be, I want. You about to be pissed off wait, in like five minutes. Wait, you, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you do drink liquor though, right? Yeah, yeah. but what, what type of liquor? Do, do you drink Jaeger? Women dark, liquor light. <laughs> so no dark liquor. You okay. Are, okay. Can do both. So you're a vodka guy. Vodka. Vodka. That's it. Oh, that's it? That's tonic, it. Vodka, like, tonic. are we talking about Ciroc vodka or Kevin no? Vodka? Not Ciroc. Because Ciroc no. vodka doesn't really taste like no, vodka. I can't do vodka. Ciroc. Shouts really? out to whoever makes it. But, but Ciroc not, tastes but do like. Do you a, like the taste of alcohol? I like the way if you get a good buzz, I'm good with it. But I you can keep going don't like, afterwards. I don't like yeah. doing shots. I'll do them because people be near peer pressure. But I don't like doing shots. They All don't right. go down. Smooth. Stop asking Gary to do shots, guys. That's yeah, just stop. That's a public Vodka announcement. club soda. It's two two things we've learned so far. This has been the first uh, five minutes. Uh, stop putting the S on the end of his Please, name. Owen. And and stop asking him to do shots. Like Owen Hart. Yeah. 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 All right, oh, so this is the portion of the show where we do shots. <laughs> 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 do you do shots at the show? Shots. Are you serious? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, I was no, like, no, no. <laughs> but my wife is a certified mixologist and she yes. makes every uh, guest a drink. And yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get your own, the, the, the Gary Owen. Was uh, she the clerk at the liquor store? Yes, mostly. <laughs> this is how we, got we got married shortly after. We got uh, the good straws, too. Oh, yeah, we got the good straws. The, the very sanitary fucking California straws. We don't fuck with that shit. Mm. But, yes, uh, she, so my wife is a certified mixologist. She uh, mixes you a drink every time that another uh, guest comes through, and you get your own thing. This is a one-of-one. One. You get your own recipe, and this is the... Get some. 
Get some. Oh, get you some. Shout out the podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get some. Three ounces of lemonade. Two ounces of pineapple Ciroc. Three ounces of blueberry Red Bull. Fill in a highball two-thirds full of ice. Shake with the lemonade and pineapple Ciroc together. Pour into a glass and top with blueberry Red Bull. Garnish with lemon and blueberry with mint. And there you have the get some. What's it? What's it? I fucking hate everything that goes into a drink. I fucking hate what is it? What's in it? She's in, she's in there like Mick. As you're saying the shit you hate, she's in there putting it in. Yeah, yeah. All the S's in your name that shouldn't have been. Was it Ciroc? All the S's in your yeah. last name that should have been went in there. Sugar sweetener stevia. It's Owen. It's, it's everything. I'll take one of those. Thank you very much. What's in it? What's in it, babe? There is some pineapple syrup. Pineapple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally starting out. Starting off. The and, one. We, and we just. <laughs> what else? Okay. There's blueberry Red Bull. Oh, oh my God. God. Damn. <laughs> 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 what else is in it? Every, everything, you everything, everything you hate. Everything you hate. Did my manager <laughs> not send over my rider? <laughs> no, we went. <laughs> We went off. Where's, of, we, where's we, the grilled chicken? We, we went off of Wikipedia. We looked up all the shit you don't like. We looked up all the shit you don't like on Wikipedia oh just to God. see what's going. Let's see what's happening. Let's taste it. You don't have to drink it's it. tasty. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I hate sugar. <laughs> Christ. Oh, to it's too good. You want, would you I like? Would you like a sugarless one? No, it's really fucking good. <laughs> it's really fucking good. good. That that could be the best drink I've ever had. I'm not fucking lying. Well, it's yours, so that's good. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. get some. It's, it's the, the, the get, get some. some. God damn it! I haven't been able to do my podcast since the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'm on like a five month sabbatical. God damn. Because here's the thing. When you have your own pockets, as as you do, um, <laughs> when everyone wants, that's what everybody gonna want. They yeah. want me to yeah. talk about the divorce. All and the time, legally, yeah. you can't. I can't, can't right you now. Can't Not like I want to. Can you do like code word shit? Like I can, can you... talk a little bit about it. I mean, there's there's been some bull shit. I mean, it's a divorce. I didn't think there would be. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a divorce. No, no. There, there's some shit that that. Oh my oh, god! Oh, some extra shit, like oh. shit that's like really. That, I, that's I can talk about. I'll I give you a little bit. I've been okay. talking about my act a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, uh, so here's a crazy story. So July fourth, <laughs> this is the crazy part. This is a crazy story. So July fourth, <laughs> okay. I, I went home, my hometown, Cincinnati, and I go to a Reds game, and I got a, I got a suite. Now, granted, I got a suite with a deal. I got a guy gives me mm -hmm. a deal mm -hmm. on a suite, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like I spent thousands of thousands. Your hometown right. hero. <laughs> Yeah. So with the suite, you get I don't know, 12 tickets, 16 tickets in the suite. So I invited God a bunch damn. of friends mm -hmm. and Jesus. a couple of family members. Didn't invite my biological father, who, by the way, was not around growing up. Okay. Came back when shit started to pop off. That's, He's that's, been as they do. Very much enjoying that's the perks. <laughs> right? yeah. so nobody wants the works. They that, want the perks. That <laughs> motherfucker will never reach in his wallet. I'll put that wow. Let me tell you how cheap this motherfucker is. <laughs> We went. There's a. There's I like a, that. There's a sub story. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a B side to the. Uh, this how this how cheap this bitch is. <laughs> we we had, there's this place there's this place that says, it's called the North Star Cafe. Great food, great restaurant. Mm -hmm. But it's one of them you you go to the register, you pay you pay for your food, and you get a number, mm -hmm. and then they bring your food to your table. Right. right? Mm -hmm. He said, hey, he had called me, wanted me for breakfast. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And usually when they have. Pay, right. right? Or you go Dutch. The Kali. The Kali pay. Yeah, the Kali pays. <laughs> he gets there before me, 15 minutes before me. He goes, hey, yeah, man, here. I said, all right, just order. I'll be down in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking you order, you pay for your food. I'll pay for my food. I'll meet you. Right. I'm at the register. They go, yeah, the guy said you're paying for his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting on his phone. He's like, eh. I go, what the fuck? <laughs> like, breakfast like $10. <laughs> it's not like high end. And I'm sitting there going, are you fucking shitting me right now? <laughs> you didn't know he could do that. You, you I didn't even know. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 that's me over there. That's me over there. This is where it gets ugly. This okay. is where the family shit gets ugly. This is now? This is where it gets ugly. July 4th. This is what? Okay, okay. Four weeks okay. ago. <clears throat> Come home. The robot. So, I don't invite him to the game. Mm -hmm. So, he calls me the next day. Keep in mind, we ain't talked in like two, three weeks. Right. 
He sends his voicemail. Hey, Gary, this is your fucking dad. <laughs> I can play it if you want. I would love for you to play that. Can you make a beat to it? Can you make a song to it? Oh, Let me ask you this. I I'll play it all. I, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. If you do this, I'll play the voicemail if you do it for me. I cannot wait. So I just, play. I'm just, my next Showtime special, we're recording November. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I'm allowed to play it. I feel oh, like you If you can get a decent beat. Let it be my intro music for sure. for my special. Oh, Let oh. me play it. Oh, <laughs> we just we we oh, getting we get in messy. deep. We, we getting, getting in right deep. Now. I no, love this. No, Kim, we get <laughs> Kim. Seriously, we getting oh, in my. deep. God damn so, it. So this is the problem with this dude. Is it time to go? No, I'm saying. Right, I'm gonna say we can leave him a cliffhanger. Say, <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear my dad's voicemail? Ping! <laughs> After these Today messages. More up next. Yeah, you know what? Actually, do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hit, hit, Go ahead. hit that mother. Shut it down. Shut we'll down. be right back. <laughs> the Nappy Boy Radio Podcast is sponsored by Bright Sellers. Picture this. You're trying to impress that special someone in your life. You got their favorite meal ready, the candles lit, some tea pain playing in the background, as per use. And you know what that's going to do. You got everything except for a bottle of wine that actually brings all the ambience together. That's where Bright Cellars comes in. Bright Cellars is the monthly wine club that will match you with the wine that you'll love. I'm serious. After taking the quiz, I was matched with a rich and creamy Chardonnay, and my wife was paired with a delicious rosé. Needless to say, she likes something a little darker, but she's already supplied with that, so that's just a thing later. But the wine was perfect. The chocolate afterwards, i.e., Pizzle was raring to go. With Bright Sellers, all you have to do is go to their website, fill out a little palette quiz based on things you know you like, like, you know, my favorite type of chocolate, or, you know, my wife's favorite type of chocolate, me, or your ideal setting to drink wine. Then, Bright Sellers ships you six bottles of wine based on your answers. Finding your new favorite wine has never been easier. This is one of the coolest ways to drink wine because it's chosen just for you and nobody else. Think about it. Who knows you better than you? Even if you're not like a regular wine drinker, this could be something that's a perfect gift for somebody special or somebody that you know that's a dope wine lover or wine drinker in your life. The best part about Bright Cellars is that if you don't like a bottle of wine, Bright Cellars offers a delight guarantee and will send you a replacement bottle in your next order. Fire. To help you find your new favorite wine, Nappy Boy Radio is giving you 50% off your first six bottle box from Bright Cellars by going to brightcellars.com slash t-pain that's brightsellers.com slash t-pain to receive 50 percent off your first six bottle order bright sellers helping you discover the wine they'll love ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the nappy boy radio podcast we got gary owen and his mother uh shit's about to get spicy yeah. <laughs> so listen <laughs> let me finish the story let me finish the story let me finish the story. Go ahead. Go ahead. So mm -hmm. he um, calls and leaves me the voicemail. Then he sends me a long text. And I'm going, what is this from? We haven't talked in like two, three weeks. Then I called him. Mm -hmm. and he starts going in on the stuff, right? Now, keep in mind, he's on your, on you you and his stuff. Going in on the stuff. But he's going yeah, in he, on he, why he you didn't mad at me. Him. Okay, Man, okay. Shit okay, I don't no. do for him. <laughs> so <laughs> Cause, cause, how yeah. about raising me? Right. Let's start with that. I had one job. So, right. <laughs> I didn't need much. <laughs> so, <Okay>. so, <laughs> so we, we get in an argument. We cuss each other out, right? Hang mm -hmm. up, right? This son bitch. I'm going through a doors, right? It's ugly. It's messy. Hey. He... Sends my f now ex wife right. mm -hmm. pictures uh -oh. of this new girl I'm seeing. <laughs> oh. And, and information on her. I thought you would want to know this. Like, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> what? I'm like, we're legally, we're separated, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Been separated for five, six months now. Right. I'm, I'm allowed to date. Legally, I'm allowed. Nothing wrong with that, right? I'm legally. Listen, I ain't in the streets, I ain't wilding. Right. Seeing somebody. You ain't right? carried out a club. The only reason I sent him pictures is because he said, hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm like, yeah, going seeing on? somebody, you know, really? I was like, yeah, yeah. Hey, where you at? I go, we went to Sedona, hiked the Grand Canyon. Wow. Sent him a couple pictures. This son of a bitch. Your dad. Sent, him, sent it to my ex. Your dad's the FBI. Posted it <laughs> on his <laughs> Facebook five. page. What the Then fuck? he started posting pictures of, of my future ex. Like, um... He was posting pictures like, uh, I've always had your back. I loved you like a daughter. I go, you oh, voted wait. for Trump. He's he voted for Trump. <laughs> you did not love her like a daughter. 
Like you voted and like went to the parades and the rallies. He ain't like a, a quiet Trumper. Loud as fuck. He's flying flag. Loud as fuck He's Trump. He bought oh, wow. the head. He donated to the wall. Oh my God. He donated to the wall. Keep America. Wow. <laughs> Keep America. Like all, all the police brutality stuff, bullshit. Yeah. Black people deserve it. Yeah, that type of shit. Wow. wow. That's the guy who now mm. is on my ex wife, my black ex wife's side. So now. Oh. Would you like to do the voicemail? I, I was you know, about to ask about that voicemail. We might as well. Man. I feel like we need Run a it precursor. Run it. Run it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> something. Would, it, would this pick it up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Go That's ahead. The speaker. Now, this is this. He sent this to me July fifth, the day after the Reds game. But I didn't take him to the suite. Also, right. just send it to me just so I can lay it over the whole thing. I want the yeah. real audio, and I want to make a beat out of this shit. It's gonna right. be hilarious. Uh, Cause I'm gonna auto tune the shit out of it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna make him sing for real. Mm. Hello, it's your fucking dad. Uh, you, know, you can keep disrespecting me all you want, man. It's it's up to fucking you. Um, I've had about enough. Um, so anyway, uh, you you live your best life, man. I I, I just fuck this shit. You know, I just you don't respect me. You have no respect for me. So anyway, bye bye. <laughs> What was that, Baba? What? <laughs> that Baba was the best that thing that happened. Oh, oh, oh my oh, man. shit! Oh my god, I shit. cannot wait. <sighs> Yeah, you gotta send me that. Dog. You gotta send me that. Dog. That's how yeah. I came on. Look, shut it, it down. down. We're not shut going to commercial. Down. Just want to hit it. That was fucking brilliant, bro. Oh, bye bye, man. Is he? Is is he a? Uh, <clears throat> what did he do for a professional? A guy, is he? He was a, a FedEx is, driver. Is he a connoisseur of the drink? What drink? And all of them. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> a beer. He's, he, he's a drinker. Yeah. That sounded like something I would send somebody. Oh, really? Yeah. No, yeah. he's 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 like that though. He's I don't I'm know a, what that was. Yeah, I'm a recovering alcoholic. He's not alcoholic. He's just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's just assholes. You know what I mean? Brian. Appreciate you dropping off your load in my mom. <laughs> Good lord. Did you follow up? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch, man. Oh. Do you well, do you look at yourself sometimes and be like, did I do that? Did I am I make him mad? Like, am I a dick for him? Like, do you ever kind of blame no. yourself? This is you what I blame knew. yourself for this, this is how I know I'm not a dick. <laughs> That's how I know I'm not a dick. <laughs> we all got whatever tendency. Mm -hmm. But when when the divorce got announced, right, uh -huh. and, it, and it got on TMZ and yeah, everything else, that shit blew up. Everybody reached out that knew me. All the comedians, mm -hmm. Kev, you know, yeah. just every, everybody reached out, just mm -hmm. check on me, make sure I'm good. So I was like, okay, I can't be that big of an asshole. Because if you were an asshole, <laughs> right. you'd be like Nobody's this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's struggling. Oh, the divorce. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. He's sitting in a room alone. You get what you <laughs> fucking deserve. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you know. But. He's such a bitch. How do you do that to your kid? Because basically in my eyes, <laughs> in my <laughs> eyes, this is what you're saying as a dad. You're saying, I want you to lose dramatically in this divorce. I want you to be broke and I want to fuck up the new girl you're seeing. I want you to be broke and lonely. I told you to Damn. be broke and lonely. Because she made, because she, it was weird. Like she made a, uh, I, I haven't said nothing on social media about it. About okay. Quiet, okay. As, right. as you should. Right, right. Because you do have kids. Right. Yeah, you gotta you just gotta be quiet. Not, yeah, be don't quiet. that shit last forever. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> I think when you get a divorce, everybody comes with their trump cards. Like you got ace, 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 mm. and you you did this, well, you did this, mm. you did this. Yeah. But no marriage ended because everybody was happy. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, that, I, yeah, and that's what I try to say. Like, yeah. There's no way somebody thinks they're a marital bliss and the other one is miserable. That yeah. doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. There's some people in denial and stuff. Right, right, right. But yeah. plenty of people doesn't happen. The but public, the public eye is a, a fucking bitch. Dude. Yeah. So yeah. I've just been quiet. Mm -hmm. I, I literally just sh I'm not said one word on social media, and then you make this fucking sugary, delicious drink, and I just keep talking about it. You fucking asshole. Your fucking delicious drink making wife. 
<laughs> Where'd she come from? The good news is hey, the this good is news your is, fucking friend. <laughs> the good news is you can is, disrespect bye. me all you want, T Pain. Yeah, <laughs> hey, fuck. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can I get bye another bye. one? That's gonna be the best <laughs> part of that. The bye bye. Bye bye. It's going to be the hook. That's yeah. going to be my closer. <laughs> like, it's like the whole, you mix it's it, the, the whole intro song, I'm going to come out at the band. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Dad. God <laughs> damn. I just don't. Hey, this is dedicated to all the Debbie daddies out there. <laughs> <laughs> you kids don't need a daddy. You'll make it. Barack, LeBron, myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I put my name in the mode of moguls. You mother. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you fucking do it, man. I appreciate you. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. Bye bye. That's gonna be the best part. I oh, can't man. wait to do that shit. I, oh. I mean, thank you for the consideration. I'm really actually. I'm yeah. Gonna, I might start working on that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was either you or Rob Bass. I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit all right all right let's get into it you ready for it uh oh. fuck god damn it okay my, one more time oh my god somebody shut it down please shut, shut it down, down. shut it down we'll be right back all right. All right. damn you ready for some fantasy football i'm talking about a league where you can actually talk to your league mates then you got to give sleeper a try Sleeper is a modern sports fantasy experience designed to connect people over sports with its integrated chat and sleek interface. Sleeper users talk more to their league mates, and their leagues just simply feel that different. The best part about Sleeper is that it's free with zero ads, and it gives you a genuinely premium experience. Sleeper offers NFL, NBA, and even LCS League of Legends, and it gives you total control over your fantasy draft and seasons. Red Draft, Dynasty, Best Ball, Sleeper is made to play fantasy sports your way. What you didn't know is that Sleeper is the fastest growing fantasy platform, with millions of users built almost entirely on word of mouth. And there's an upcoming matchmaking feature that should be available for new users to find the league. Sleeper was co-founded by two childhood best friends that used to send trading cards via snail mail after their families moved to opposite coasts. They eventually discovered fantasy sports and it became the glue of their friendship all over again. Sleeper is the app they wished they had growing up. And they continue to use it to deepen friendships and keep people connected. Looking for a new fantasy football experience? Give Sleeper a try. Go to the App Store and download the Sleeper app and start playing today. Available on the App Store, Google Play, or on your desktop. So Marshawn Lynch, right after they lost the Super Bowl to the Patriots, when they mm-hmm. should have gained the ball at the two, yeah. he showed up at one of my shows, and afterwards they said, I said, hey, Marshawn, so I went up to say hi to him, mm-hmm. right? And he goes, oh, man. It's, oh, no, it was before my show. Yeah. He goes, oh, man, I know who he is. You be talking about them black bitches. <laughs> And I go, no, no, no. I just, I just talk about one, not a, not just a bunch. One. Just and one. And then <laughs> he said, a- yo. I said, and I'm trying to, now you're trying to build rapport, right? Right. I said, oh, it, it, you went to, you from Oakland, right? I said, yeah, my wife went to Skyline. He goes, oh, shit. I went to Tech, man. They was our rivals. Oh, he said, shit. if your wife would have played football, I would have ran her ass over too. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I go, she didn't God play damn. football, though. She didn't play. She didn't play. I don't think she was. I literally older. was like this. I did not stand up for her honor. Mm-hmm. Like, I just looked at her and went, she ain't played. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I get that. I probably would have did the same thing. Man. Son. And then yeah. here's the best part. As we're talking, as, and it, it's crazy how tw- tw- white guys in their 20s, if they're an Uber fan, they don't give a fuck who you're talking to. Oh, yeah, they will interrupt. Sure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So me and him are talking like me and you are, right? Mm-hmm. This white dude got in the middle of us. <laughs> like, we weren't even talking. It was like, my shot, my shot, can I get a picture of my He goes, I'll take selfie with dudes. Oh. <laughs> and then the guy goes, Ooh, get somebody to my picture. Motherfucker tried to give me the phone. I said, not me. Uh, not me. Uh, uh, you just so fucking. He gave it to another guy, and the dude tried to put his arm around Marshawn. And it's, he smacked it. Marshawn went, like, the selfie's here. Marshawn went, get the fuck it. Oh. Get the fuck <laughs> <out>. <laughs> he smacked his hand so hard. He just get the fuck He out. took the picture like this. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just, I would love to. I would love to be. Marshawn Lynch and like just sort of drunk with him one time. He just seems but you like know such... he's got his store in Oakland Bro, Beast. Yeah, yeah, I, he, yeah, he there. It's the yeah. craziest fucking thing. Marshawn just shows up places. You know, like you know how if you like pull up to a to a red light and then fucking Jack Black pulls up next to you like riding an ostrich and you like yeah that's yeah. Jack Black. It's like, that's <laughs> the, I get that a lot. With, I get I get that a lot with Bobby Valentino somehow in Atlanta. I yeah, you just, just, just all the time. Just I just on look a, down and he's just boom right there. How like, the fuck are you riding a half a motorcycle? Like that just makes <laughs> it makes sense when it's certain people. Yeah, Barcelona is just in an alley. There's nothing to it. It's just like 
Now, this is is he the most enigmatic figure you've ever encountered? Okay, now I'm gonna have to yeah. stop you right there. Yeah, I, I wanted uh, you to stop him. Now, now Gary, do you, do you know what that word means? No. Because, okay. <laughs> okay. I, like I didn't want to be. I don't want to be the odd man out. <laughs> I, I, I need to. <laughs> What does that mean? Enigmatic, like enigma. Y'all know what an enigma is. Okay, right? now I feel, yeah, like, I feel okay. like sometimes, gonna, you know gonna, what, man? You've been on this podcast for you've been on this podcast or? for a long time. I feel like you learn these words before you come here. This is no, I just to fucking make What's us it look mean? stupid. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I always have day. this in my repertoire. But you could have easily said, "Is he like an enigma to you?" I knew I would have. Enigmatic. I didn't know what yeah, that what form mean? of that word. What's was. it mean? It's, it's like uh, how, how mysterious. 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 Oh. mysterious. Uh, it's really like uh, something you can't understand. Something you can't understand. Really, it's kind of like you know. I feel like Marshawn Lynch just way. does what he wants to do, and it, yeah. it's not he, like a, he's an enigma. I mean, did you just see him on ESPN. What he said. No. He was on uh, first take and he started cussing, right? <laughs> yeah. And he's all and Max Kevin goes, Hey Marshawn, this is a family show. Marshawn goes, and I'm a family man. <laughs> 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 he was like, like, what he said it was like, and I'm a family yeah, man. Yeah, the fuck you talking what, about? What the fuck you mean? <laughs> she thought, thought she was gonna change. Yeah. <laughs> I think he doesn't. I don't think he understands uh, consequences. I couldn't imagine Marshawn Lynch as a child. No, I think he does. I just yeah, think he, he, could you see no, him at like Cal he, Berkeley in, <laughs> in one of your law classes? You're like this. What? <laughs> but he seems like the guy that would. He'd be in the law classes, but be have so much common sense. Right. The book smart people be like, no, 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 no. He goes, why would you do that? Oh, no, fuck. And the everything we're really talking good, about, this it? drink is so good. <laughs> it is refreshing. Good lord. I'm, I'm trying to baby mine right now. How's that working out for you? Man. I like the zest. It's a the, great the, name. The, the lemon zest. No, the I zest. mean, how did she the roll the, the mint? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That, I, look, I didn't go to that school. Lemon. Man. I'm not going to be able to tell blueberries. you. Blueberries. Blueberries and mint. 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 With the Holy mint. Holy yeah. There's a lot going on there. You completely abandoned the drink you asked for. That's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally gonna be at a bar like, hey, you got that gift some? <laughs> <laughs> what? The gift some shit with the blueberries and the lemon oh, rice. This would, be, this would be a great, okay. This would be a great hookah flavor. It would be a hookah nice hookah, hookah flavor. What? Yes. Somebody asked me, was hookah a uh, famous girl in Atlanta? And that was, I Ooh. think that was just that who, 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 Okay, you got yeah. you got to put on I feel like we need that. to rethink so what we're that? doing. I, I mean, it? that was on my Twitch stream, and somebody was like, "Is who a famous girl in Atlanta or something?" And I just so because it was she's on Twitch, every, right? She's at every club. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. She it was somebody around. from like New Jersey. We don't. Yeah, but they smoke hookah in New Jersey. Smoke, yeah, they, they smoke hookah everywhere. I, that's what I, was I mean, saying. the black, I haven't been the to black people do. I look, they smoke, dude. They smoke hookah in Spain. You smoke hookah, Gary? Mm mm. No. Nope. You don't? Does it fuck with your uh, bronchial cords? Uh, I tried it, but I don't get nothing out of it. I so I'd rather, no, smoke, okay, I'd rather okay. smoke weed or a cigar. First of all, nobody does. <laughs> Like Nobody gets up. anything out of it. I don't get nothing out of it. You get a picture. That's it. Yeah, That's what like it's it. for. I don't like it. You sure? And you smoke cigars, though? I, it's got to have like, um, some flavor to it. I like a sweet tip. Cigar, like, like dip it in brandy. You dip it in brandy, or dip it in like any. <laughs> no, no, of like there's one I like called Isla Wood del Sol. Black and mild. That's, that's a, really good. Okay, Isla, I like del, Sol. Isla del Sol. Mm -hmm. That's a really good cigar. <laughs> that's not a real okay. thing. But people be like, "Yo, it's these not. are Cubans." I go, I, "Mine, Islas are eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Cubans are twenty. That's how I feel about wine. Everybody wants me to buy like four hundred dollar wine. I'm like, no, nah, I got this nine dollar joint. That's bust. I told that to um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, the, what Wade's got? Dwayne Wade's got his wines. Mm -hmm. I like the cheaper one. He got two different ones. He was give me the samples, and I was like, "Yo, I don't want to offend you, but I like the cheaper one better." I've known if you put cheap wine in an expensive looking bottle, nobody can tell the difference. Shout out. Yeah, I mean, mm. he, he ain't lying. Yeah, mm -hmm. he ain't lying. Wine snobs too, like real, like people that know, like this is a 18th yeah. century. This I'm gonna like <laughs> Next time I'm in Napa, I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> it's as good as that T Pain. Get some. Next time, just got a bullshit grape. Put some blueberries in this motherfucker. Man. Best coffee in the world is cat shit. Pardon it's what? me. What? It's cat shit. Cat Pardon shit coffee. Me? What are you guys talking about? Cat the best coffee. The, the best. We're not. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, Pardon oh, me. Oh, what are you, you guys uncultured? Oh, <laughs> no. What's happening? Yes. Have you, you ever heard of my dad? Is? 
no, 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 no. heard about the Who's best coffee in Europe being cat shit, for real? No, do what is you talking about? Eat cat the, shit. They There's say that cup, the best yeah. rated, most flavorful coffee mm-hmm. is somewhere, I think, in like, I guess, Central or South America or yeah, something South like America, that. Yeah, South America. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they said that these cats eat these plants all the time mm-hmm. that makes them come up and take their droppings. And so these droppings are then somehow cultivated into coffee yeah. beans or whatever, and then they you know do their little process and shit, mm-hmm. and they make it into coffee. Yeah. And it's like the most best tasting flavorful coffee, coffee ever. And, never, and it's caffeinated. Never heard of it? Mm-mm. I'm I a feel, coffee drinker. <laughs> I don't, I don't I, think you are. I don't think I've never heard of cat shit coffee. I don't think you. I don't think you hit the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not drinking cat shit coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, they obviously get the shit out of the equation, but it does derive the best from cat shit. The that, best part of waking up. I mean, up most of fertilizer. The best part of waking up. I mean, in your cup. Species in the best part of waking up. Meow. It's species <laughs> in your cup. Meow meow. <laughs> We haven't heard of that. We haven't heard of that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Literally. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Network Radio Podcast. We got Gary Owen and his mother right now. Um, guys. <sighs> shit. Yeah, this is fucked up. We, I mean, this has just been all fucked up. Um, Gary Owen, it's time for your top five. Doing, what? It's, that's, it's well, different for everybody. It's different for everybody. We're gonna do it because we haven't done this yet. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's your top five stand-up comedians? Oh, oh man. good one. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. All time or alive? Oh. All time. I mean, we good gotta put a we gotta dead. put a cap on the time. Were they doing stand up in like the 1800s? Of course. I'm not going that? back that far. <laughs> yeah, but, but they were. Yeah, they the weren't gesture. really. I'm just saying. 70s, 80s. I'm just saying. Like, like mimes. Beethoven, or, like mimes or, Beethoven might have had a, t- a tight five, nigga. You never, you never know. I mean, it probably was <laughs> killing them jokes. Yes, right. I don't know. So I got, let's, okay, let's, I'll just go all time. Let's do all time. All time dead or alive. And it know it sounds weird. Like obviously, people say Richard Pryor, but you gotta realize Richard Pryor was a little bit before my time. Mm-hmm. I mean, so I didn't get to <laughs> experience that. experience like that time of of what he was talking about. Because if right. you look at his stand up now, you'll watch Richard Pryor and be like, I kind of heard it. Yeah, yeah. that's because everybody people else has sampled. Yeah. It, people right? do that shit with me with uh with, with Tupac and Big, and I'm like, bro, I didn't get into music until 2000. Yeah, like yeah. that. They was dead. Uh, they was gone, gone, bro. Like you can't make me. Yeah, put that in my top five. So I would that. say. uh Obviously, mm. Dave Chappelle. Obviously, mm. he's okay. gonna be. And, and is this in any order? Right. Well, well I, just, you know, I would say no mm. because it's yeah. there's jokes. It's very man, hard to jokes. put it in order. Yeah. I mean, we, so try, we try not to do order in here. I would say uh, Chappelle, George mm. Carlin, mm-hmm. Mitch Hedberg, Ooh. Beast, King, shit. um, and this is gonna be this is gonna shock some people. It's a guy named Pablo Francisco. R. Kelly? Who, <laughs> man, when I was coming up open mic in Why LA, uh, he would he was going up so much and destroy him. I gotta, and, I gotta, I gotta and I don't take, know man. why he didn't take. I heard it. I heard it was drugs, but I don't mm. know why he didn't take off like he should have. But I remember, like people didn't want to follow that dude. Okay. I was like, good lord. What was his name? Pablo, Pablo Francisco. Francisco. Pablo. But he'll Francisco. always be in my top five just because I was like, what the fuck? What are you coming Really? Up and he never like blew never up. Never blew blue like and he should have. Damn. But uh, that's four. So my fifth, my fifth would um, choose wisely. You want to think about it for a no, second? No, my my fifth would be Bernie Mac. Okay. Damn. Damn. Because that's the first big theater show I went to live. Mm. And I was, that's when I was just in all this. Somebody could hold a crowd for like over an hour. Like that's he did. Cause I never of, seen it. Mm-hmm. You got, you get one honorable mention. Oh, oh obviously honorable right. mention is Eddie Murphy. Cause I was a kid. Okay. But okay. raw and delirious. The red, oh my the, gosh. The, the, the red leather was. And to oh, think yeah. about. Prominent. <laughs> think about, yeah. But think about this. Like comedians always say like forties is like our. You know, that's our Yoda Jedi years. Like, really? You know, we yeah, got a, uh, we got yeah. enough life experience. They say that. They say that. It depends. I think you're 40. <laughs> some people, some people tap up. out. You yeah, know, they like, do. Like some of their better shit was when they were. But just... that's what Eddie Murphy. That's why I said it's so amazing because mm. I think in your 40s, like you're in the pocket. You're not yeah. old. You're not old where you, you're out of touch. But you got enough life experience, like you can really like speak you on kind of okay. Stuff. Okay, that's mm-hmm. why Chappelle's so in the pocket right now, where his, his age and experience and everything else. He doesn't but, even have to do anything. 
This man can have a full stand-up routine he with don't, no joke. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's just talk. And he's, <laughs> he's Bigfoot right he now. Just, he just speaks to the people, and he just speaks to what people are feeling but are like afraid insane. to either, like, tell themselves, and he mm-hmm. just brings it but out. He's in, he's in a different place because mm-hmm. if you think about it, mm-hmm. his that one of the YouTube ones, he talked about Don Lemon mm-hmm. and yeah. Candace Owens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I would have said that shit, don't let me be so First upset. All, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. So I don't want to. I don't want to skip over this. I just want to point out that there is somebody with the last name Owens, and that, not me. Uh, there, <laughs> there, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying S, that's a normal. It's S. normal to have the S there. Yeah. The, your name is the unusual one. Yeah. But go ahead, keep going. But if, if I would have said something <laughs> like Dave said about Donald and Candace Owens, yeah, they would have went off. How, How dare about, you? For you sure. Mother- yeah. They right. were so honored. To have their names come oh, out of Dave Chappelle's people, mouth. Right. They was like this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just feel good he mentioned me in a special. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, who wouldn't? Like Shaq oh. after a game. I just feel like everybody played a good game. <laughs> I just feel, I just feel, I just feel like, uh, uh, you day. know, obviously the other team wanted to more. Yeah. Uh, I just think we have to uh, communicate more in the locker room and then everything be all right. I feel like uh, the uh, team wouldn't make the dream work. Thank you, for, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, though. Can I say that? I just think he's at the point in his career where you just uh, you're so in awe of him at times that you don't call him on some of his shit because the Candace yeah. Owens joke that he told yeah. was pretty petty. That's some schoolyard bullshit. I would kick her in her pussy. I didn't. I didn't Jeez. like it. It was some schoolyard. Wow. Wow. I would say. I would say it this. But I would say this. Gonna call as a comedian. As mm-hmm. a comedian, like for me, I don't think I can get offended by anything. I'm a comedian. Correct. Yeah. I, Correct. I, I, yeah, that makes sense. You know, I really don't. I really Come don't. On. I'll, I'll put it this way. Mm-hmm. So. Not to get too deep. Oh okay. no! Oh no! Don't get too oh, my no. brother. Okay, my dig, brother. Dig, dig the grave. Brother. Okay, so oh. my my brother passed away of a heroin overdose. A week after he passed away, Saturday Night Live did a sketch on heroin and how they mm-hmm. act. Mm. And a lot of people start hitting my DMs like, "Aren't you mad about this?" I go, "No." That's how he acted. That, this, like this he was acted. Real. If Damn. he was alive, he'd Fucking be laughing. Fucking nailed it. it. Yeah, they crushed it. I was like, "That's exactly what they do." <laughs> but so I was like, I wasn't offended by it, but I yeah. got it. Like timing and everything mm-hmm. so i just i don't get offended by and you can say whatever you want about me i can care i mean i've been taking l's on the internet since this divorce i don't think l's. so man I, I yeah i don't think so either yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think you've been you've been fucking winning you've been keeping your fucking your stance on things you haven't like flip flop i think i think people only take l's when they flip flop on shit and it's just like you know what fuck social media get the fuck out of my face and it's just like you haven't been doing that. You've been standing mm-hmm. firm on what you on what you're doing. So I, I mean, that's cool as shit, and I commend it. I don't think you know what you do for people that are uncomfortable with trying to make jokes about shit that pe- that the public would feel like you shouldn't even fucking speak on. Yeah. And oh. you have a lot of experience in that realm. Well, isn't <laughs> I think most jokes and, and Vanessa can attest to this. You can kind of say whatever you want as long as there's no, there's no malicious intent behind it. As a young teenager growing into my adulthood, I can honestly say that of all the white comedians, because I think one of my favorite comedians of all time is Ron White. Ron I just, he, he's amazing. He's amazing. Like, he's a beast. And people, you know, consider like my background, they're like, like oh, you think it's funny? Because you know, I grew up around a lot of black people and they mm-hmm. don't really venture out to see the uh, Jeff Foxworthy's and all of them like I did. Right, right. Um, of all the Anglo comedians, I like to say. I, t- I, I think t- I just feel like he just learns <laughs> these things. <laughs> he just he does this, he does this on purpose. He knows we don't know Anglo. We know <laughs> he knows we don't know what the fuck he's saying. It's like he's just speaking. Don't Can you let him it. finish don't his hype train to me? <laughs> T Pain, he's saying how awesome I am, Bro. and you cut him off. Stop, I, I, he can he can finish it if he stops speaking Spanish in front of us. All right, this is fucking speak English. You're 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 in God's America. Can I address the the you're in you're in God's right America, you will him? speak English. The, the Angloid comedian over here. Let me please address this man, all right? Go ahead. Listen, I just want to say thank you. And also, like as a fan, I really appreciate the fact that you know where the line is for where you go, but you always trying to thread it properly. And I think that's why you've had can, the continued fan base you generate, you, you know, even like from younger younger generation to the older generation that you know, people tap in for so long is because mm-hmm. a lot of people who you look at these other white comedians have actually like had moments where they just completely just forgot about the line of right. crossing line when it comes to certain topics and certain issues you've always recognized it didn't make excuses for it but then always respected it and Big you've truth. always stayed the same and Big that's truth. why i think that you respect that's why i do well, i always forgot you were getting divorced because i'm like dude that's still my favorite one of my favorite comedians all Big time truth. yeah well, because it, of that you know what I'm but saying? i'll tell you when i started mm-hmm. um 
the you know you don't choose your audience they choose you absolutely yeah, absolutely. yeah for sure but when i started doing stand-up like i did what you're supposed to do in la i went to comedy store i waited in line for three hours for you open mic right mm-hmm. never got on mm-hmm. couldn't get on the mainstream rooms mm-hmm. but luckily i got on fat tuesday which is guy tory's room one oh, night shit. and just made contacts so i could always go up at the the black night you capitalized yeah which was the comedy act theater Mavericks flat, mm-hmm. and then obviously you had the Laugh Factory on Sunday, the Improv on Monday, the Comedy Store on Tuesday. Those are nights I could get up. Yeah. So I was like, and you I'm had experience, yeah. but you had really? experience. You actually had like shit you could talk about. It's not like uh, the the normal shit that we are used to. Is like black people be all like do do do, and yeah, then the yeah, white yeah, people yeah. be all like. It's like no, I have a black wife. This is weird to me. Why do you a, do that? The fuck is a bonnet, bro? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like, like you're, you're authentic in, throughout the entire career. Like, back from Comic View days, I remember. It's because it's yeah. they yeah, yeah, so yeah. consistent throughout the years since you've built your brand up through I don't know how many decades. Because I've seen since I was, like, damn near 12 years old. I'm yeah. 30 fucking four. Yeah. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? I'm about to say, I hate yeah. when people tell me, like, how old they were. <sighs> right. When they're the worst. Shit. Th- I used right. to watch you when I was a kid. Now that, my grandparents. That's the, right, that's the same thing. Brad is like, oh my god, eight. you made my whole middle school. Like, bro, <laughs> right. I'm having a drink with you right now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you could have just said, I'm a fan. It speaks to the kid. It just speaks to how, like, how just as a viewer, as a fan, how consistent you have been, just being authentic. But you know what? I appreciate it. But what's funny now? <laughs> I appreciate it. Is going through divorce, fuck all that shit. Because uh, I, I read everything on social media. Mm-hmm. I don't engage, but I read it. it, it it's we entertaining. Have to. Well, it's okay, a soap okay. opera. Hold on one second. It's a soap opera. Hold on one second. T- tell these people that we fucking see all this shit. All of it. We all read all of it. it. All, all of, of it. it. I don't. First, me personally. Yes, I go on Twitter and search my name. Yes, <laughs> that's how search? I saw your tweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I. Saw, how did you know I said that about you? I typed in Gary Owen. I'm I bored in my hotel. <laughs> I, I got okay. four hours for my show. Oh, I'll get on Twitter and search my name. Mm-hmm. I don't search. I look at my mentions. Like if you took time to put the at symbol before my name, that means you either really fucking hate me. Or you had some shit to say, or you actually like me, and I want to see all of it. It's mm-hmm. it's my playbook for me. It's my playbook. Like I make sure my next move is if this is what my mentions are. My next move is not gonna allow you to be able to say that. Like it's 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 literally having the other team's playbook to me. Mm-hmm. You know how well, I look people at are it. gonna at you now, trying to get your attention. Yeah. Oh, they already do that. <laughs> they my, already. My do dad. That. My dad. Right. <laughs> hey, T Pain. Bye bye. Dad, don't fucking. <laughs> hey, hey, dad, don't fucking hit me about this motherfucking points for this beat I'm Yo, about to make out of your You're using voice. dad loosely. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dad is. Hey, the real dude loose. that dropped the load off in Gary's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know what, man? You 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 don't you don't fucking respect me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Yo, you uh, in the yeah. T-Pain's house? You don't respect me, man. You don't, you don't, you don't respect, respect me. Respect he never really said exactly he why you res- didn't respect him. He, he, he never, never did. He never said. Because he never, never did. did. Because he doesn't have anything to say. Got, I, no. I, I was waiting for no. I said, how did he Even when we talked you, on the phone, you know he still what, didn't have anything. I was like, what are you mad about? We haven't talked you in three weeks. Just keep on with the disrespect is what I'm talking about. You know what, bro? You don't respect me. Yeah. It's just like fuck you. When bro. it comes to divorce and rules and stuff like that, don't you believe? Because I can see already when you um, how do you separate friends? Because we already see the family is choosing sides. Mm-hmm. How do you mm-hmm. do? Yeah. Um. Or do you give? A did shit y'all have mutual friends? Though? Yeah, yeah. One's right here. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting right there. Yeah, we've had some issues. <laughs> I ain't gonna call you out, Brad. Well, how to what? Brad's just wait, too nice. Wait, wait, to wait what's that? What side? Oh, I mean, well, what side you are, Brad? Well, you're here. Too late now. Well, you're here. You're here. I mean, podcast. do you take do you take everybody's engagements? Do you like? I gotta be a Gary shit at five, and then I gotta be a Shawty <laughs> shit at six. He's sipping to get some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, he's sipping what, to get what some. What drink you sipping on, bro, bro? <laughs> like for real? Like do you do you put on a suit for Gary shit, and then you gotta put on a, <laughs> a different, a, a, different fucking, a fucking Clippers for jersey for the. <laughs> 
for the next thing you gotta <laughs> It's like I wear the plaid pants, I guess. Uh, hey, 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 can't let them know I saw each other on the <laughs> same day. I don't want these I'm like this. I don't yeah, want these yeah, yeah. I don't want these pictures to be the same. Yeah, yeah. Can I get one more? <laughs> yeah. yeah, please. My last one. Me I mean it's really Wait, good. shut it down first before we oh, fucking shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. We'll be right back. Jesus. Shut, shut. <laughs> There's so much sugar in my veins. Shut it down. We'll be right back, you pieces of shit. <laughs> Ooh, liquor might be talking. Do you want to know who doesn't like me? <laughs> I do. Yes. Tyrese. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, that mother hates me. Why does everybody Why? have a Tyrese story? Okay. Yeah, okay, let's now. get into it. Yeah, One absolutely. more sip before I finish this. <laughs> I, 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 buff it. All right. All right. So we was at... um. We was at La La's reality show debut party when she had okay. full court life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're at the party, and I I met Tyrese before. I thought we was cool, right? <laughs> so the girl he was dating at the time, I knew her. She goes, "Hey, Gary, what's up?" And I go, "What's up?" Started talking to her. And she goes, right. "Come meet my boyfriend. Who's fucking Tyrese?" Like I didn't know who Tyrese was. <laughs> so she goes, "Come meet my." So I go up. <laughs> so I got my hand like this, like, "What's up, man?" Like right. we go back. Yeah. This was against the column, had an LA Dodger hat on. The hat was teched. He was. I go, the fuck? <laughs> he goes, hey, man, I'm just real. I'm just real. Okay. And I went, I, no, I thought you were Tyrese. <laughs> I was like, did he change his name? And then he goes, hey, man, you be talking about me on Twitter. I said, no, I don't. So I'm. I'm in denial mode, right? Okay, right, absolutely. Yeah, sure. goes, nah, you know man, you be talking about me. Man, I'm a had the shit on his phone and showed it to me. That's like crazy. Was it a screenshot? Oh, my. God. I don't know oh, how he is. Oh. Yo, that motherfucker. And the I couldn't second, even lie. The second you walked in, he got in me. There. I was oh, like, this, I ain't say fuck. nothing. That motherfucker went, boom. boom. I was like, this. Sorry. My <laughs> All I did. And what I said was, it, it was. Okay. What was it? What, yeah, what did you say? I said about two him? things about him. Okay, well, that's more than one that. was I went and saw Transformers and I kept waiting for Tyrese to give the Septicons relationship advice so I could get along <laughs> with the Autobots. <laughs> so, okay. The second one was, Come uh, on, and it, this is bad. The second one was, yo, if Tyrese is such an expert at relationships, why, he's di why is he divorced? Oh, oh. shit! Did that did not. Like. That did not age well. No, yeah, he didn't like that one. It didn't yeah. age well for me. No, <laughs> right. See, I would have laughed about it. I didn't like this. That did not age yeah, well for you whatsoever. God. Yeah, he the divorce Damn. got him. Yeah. But my thing was, I really was like this. I go, it was a joke. It was a joke. And that's why I told him. I said, <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. The, it was a joke. That was a joke. Yeah. It was a joke. But also, I felt like if. Kev or Dave would have said he would have laughed. Yeah. And because yeah. I said it. Yeah. How dare I talk about him? That's how I took it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You're not in the right place. I don't place. think you're I don't think you're wrong. I don't no. think you're wrong. Yeah. People just can't take fucking jokes anymore. Well, the thing was, I knew I wasn't gonna be in Waste Deep 2 <laughs> after that. There's no way I'm gonna be in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> So right when he said that, I go, fuck, I'm out of the running for that one. God damn it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, oh yeah, he's going to hate you now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, somebody shut it down, please. Shut it down. Shut it down. We'll be right back. On today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, that's fucked up. Gary, what's fucked up? Me? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Haven't you been listening? Jesus Christ, T Pain. <laughs> Haven't you been listening? You guys just said, you know how far I push the envelope divorced. without going too far, and I just went too far with four different people. <laughs> <laughs> what's fucked up? Like, what's fucked up? What's something that people do that you just don't understand? Like, to me, uh, what's fucked up is when people walk in front of you, but there's like a whole family and they like spread <gasps> out. I hate that. Like no, they all, they all walk right next to each other and you can't pass them on a sidewalk. Like, okay. what's fucked up to you? I did it two times on this podcast. You did it already. So something it. that's fucked up to you. I hate it when you're talking to somebody, you're one-on-one, -on -one, and they keep touching you when they talk to you. <laughs> like, I'm right here, like like this. Yo, bro. <laughs> so listen, I told you, right? And then I said this, and I said, yo, my man, my man. And then I told that motherfucker, and he said that. <laughs> Then, 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 so, then. then he walked over Listen to this <laughs> Why are you touching me Stop Fucking touching me bro 
It's the fucking worst. I think it's cool, man. <laughs> hey, look what he did. Look what he did. I think look that's how. I think that's how we communicate. You yeah, who's your top five comedians? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Mac. Mm. Mm. I think we, what's, I what's think you learned that. I think you learned that from somebody, and I think we. Um, I think we appreciate it. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's mm. connection. That's what's fucked up to you, though. No, it's touch me when you talk, bro. Yeah, yeah. It is fucked up, though. That don't can't don't be touch me. I get tired Especially of it. If I don't know you. Watch Where your you hand. <laughs> People do that shit when you're over six feet tall. You're big, and they just think you get accepted all the time. It's like I still don't like being touched and tapped. But I mean, still still, but it's like because I get that a lot too. They'd be like, "Hey, big fella, like stop." It's an effect. But if they say, "Hey, big fella, do you want another plate?" No. Like. <laughs> Then would you be upset? Hey man, what's good on the no. menu? <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, no. But no. Gary, but, but Gary, no. do, you, do you do you? Okay, so the, the fucked up thing is touching while talking. I don't like that. You don't like it, but you do it. I just did it, but I don't like, like it. a bunch like for exemplary reasons. Saying like I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like I'm the perfect individual. Process servers bother me. What? 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 Process servers. When you get what a the divorce, fuck is a process what, what, that's what, what it gives oh, you the papers. Till you're divorced, you got to yeah. fuck. Oh. It's fucked up. Come on, what? The hell? You knew where I was hiding now <laughs> to avoid a process server. Oh mother! I was in West Virginia for a week. And I knew I was safe there. I was laying low, bro. Oh, low. Oh my god. <laughs> where else was I at? I'm an expert flyer. Right. Mm. You're an American, so uh, that helps. I hate it when they come and they don't know you need a credit card. Like they're at the rent a car spot at Avis. Mm -hmm. okay. And they're just like, they got a debit. <laughs> and then they're like this. They're like, yo, you, you got to have your return flight or we don't take debit cards. I'm like, and they're like, what do you mean you don't take debit? debit? <laughs> what the I fuck go, do you mean? Oh my God. It's and the same card. If you walk up, if you walk up to a counter, okay. you're at a rent a car spot. Right. And they're doing this on the counter. <laughs> and they're just mm -hmm. chilling. That Avis line about to be long as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so when they start leaning on the counter, you're like, calling people, hey, they say they don't take a debit card. <laughs> it's like, oh my fucking god, dude, my shit is pre-reserved. I just want to, I just want to, I just want a convertible Mustang. Oh my god, quick. that's all give I me need. A fuck <laughs> oh. But you got to know that when you get a when right. you go to get a rental. Yeah. I think you know, and a, don't think too much. They're gonna try to sell you everything. Just say no. I think that's a well-known thing. To get the insurance, people want, still no, act like don't they even don't get know. the insurance. Because I got the insurance one time. The one time I fucking got insurance, you know I got rear-ended, and I had to pay for everything because <laughs> oh. the other guy wasn't insured. I go, this is the dumbest shit. Literally, I got the insurance, and this fucking kid rear-ended me, and he was like, ooh, had no insurance. I ended up paying like twenty-one hundred. I go, this is the stupidest fucking shit. Wow. And if you have a credit You know what you do? You know what you do? What? what? Um, uh, you got to rent a U-Haul. Oh. You can rent a U-Haul when you're fucking 18. Yeah. And you, can get, you, can get, you can get a van that will seat 15 people. For 21 bucks. For 21 bucks a night. Ooh. 18 years old. Yep. What but would, you, you went to a fucking full on. <laughs> what would people think of me if I pull up to the Atlantic Civic mm. Center in a fucking U-Haul van? They would think you're the smartest you're man alive. Smartest really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, got the, he, he got this COVID stitch real well. <laughs> You're the smartest man alive. Yeah. If you get a U-Haul truck, you can rent them bitches at 18 years Watch old. This. Done. <laughs> Next city, I'm grabbing it. Done. I and I'm going to take a picture. I want, I want video evidence. Shouts out to T. Hey, right. my special, pulling up in that motherfucking U-Haul. I U -Haul. want video evidence. <laughs> I wrecked the U-Haul. You can get. You go to Home Depot you, for what 15. You do? Did you scrape the top off? The, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was ugly. So we were driving. We were driving to U-Haul cross country, me and Brad. Brad drove it. Brad. No, no lie. We was Brad went through three states, right? We've been driving like 12 no. hours. He goes, Gary, you take over. No okay. problem. We're in Iowa. Right? Okay. <laughs> we go to Starbucks or something? We Starbucks. <laughs> and I'm trying to make this turn. And Brad goes, come here, you got to take a what? <laughs> <laughs> the whole sign <laughs> came off. And I went, oh, shit. And like, <laughs> every, everyone, this story, everyone comes out of Starbucks. Everyone comes out of like, it was like a, what was that? A, a, a Tire place. Uh, all these oh, guys shit. Discount tire? They literally started oh, looking yeah. at the and they're just looking like... They saw Cyber. You all, and they're all just looking at it like... That makes No sense. cops are coming. No. Nobody's asking for insurance or nothing. I said, Brad, switch. <laughs> so he just, 
I hopped in the passenger. He popped the driver and put it in reverse, took off. When we're going down the road, everybody still outside just looking at us leaving. This has happened. <laughs> this has happened many times. Exactly. So yeah. they were just like, yep, it happened again. <laughs> everybody to come out. It happened again. It's Gary Owen this time. <laughs> no, we, we were in Iowa. They had no clue who I was. Uh, yeah, we were in Iowa. They had the no most clue. They had the most clue who you were. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, he's on our flag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Does he absolutely fucking know who this was? That was Shit. amazing. <laughs> God damn. So that's what's fucked up. That's fucked up. Man. That is fucked, that is fucked up. up. Somebody shut it down, please. God damn. Shut it down. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yeah, here we are. And we're back with Nappy Boy Radio with no sponsors. <laughs> we got canceled by literally everybody we were able to get at the first. For some reason, we were like, we had sponsors before we even put out our first episode. And we, it, it was, it, yeah, I mean, it was actually pretty cool. Hey, man, I'm put it out there. This is going to be your highest rate episode. Uh, you on, know what? Put it out there. I'll fuck with that. Watch. I'll fuck yeah. with that. Who's your, who's your most watched one so far? Hannibal. Hannibal Burns. Uh, easy win. <laughs> easy fucking win right there. <laughs> Talking about monotone Hannibal Burris. Oh my god, deadpan. Deadpan. He's really fucking good at deadpan. He's all right. How the fuck does he? I've do seen that? better. <laughs> 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 let me let me tell this great story. Okay. So Dave had this summer camp last summer, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yellow yeah. Springs. Yeah, friends with So I go and uh, he's got that little club. On the side of the road mm -hmm. and i go into the club and we're having some drinks and it's not that crowded in there yet we were in the first ones that is at his club right 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 it's got one bathroom so okay. I, I open the bathroom door mm -hmm. dave's wife's using the bathroom oh no and at one of those moments where you couldn't believe it was happening or so i didn't close the door right away <laughs> so i walked in and i went oh and then she was halfway getting up. Oh. Off. I went, oh, God. Oh. And then she goes, and she didn't know what to do. So she sat back down, got up, sat back down. She went, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and I was like this. These I go, sounds could not have been. And I'm going, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I came out. <laughs> the Dave's there, right? So I walked over to him. I said, hey, I just saw your wife's pussy. Oh. And I go, I'm so sorry. But she was getting off the bathroom and I walked in. And I'm I... sorry. I said, so I can call mine. She can show you hers to make oh, it even. No, oh, no. You know, Dave. Oh, hey, man, don't God. worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Everybody, Everybody got a pussy. Everybody's seen a pussy. That's you know? hilarious. I just saw your wife's pussy. pussy. <laughs> I was like this. Hey, man, I just, I just went. I walked in. Your Ooh. wife was getting off the toilet. I saw her pussy. That wasn't like a dope sentence. Like, That's not the Hey, yeah. hey I, I don't know how to say this, man. It's like, and it was so early oh. I don't think she thought anybody was there mm. like literally there was like eight people there at that point <laughs> okay. so the party hadn't really started yet this makes sense this so makes I was thinking this is completely her fault she should have locked the door it is it is it is absolutely lock the door but I don't give a fuck bro I locked the door I should have left I locked the door in my bedroom and the only person that can come in there is my wife like yeah. she's seen me shit before, but it's like whoa! I don't want to really close. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, <laughs> you would think at some point we would get close, but I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen a woman shit in my life. Really? Oh uh, yeah. No, I've never seen a woman shit. You don't like, see on the side of the yeah, tub and shit. I mean, I got my daughter. If I change her diapers, but that doesn't count. That doesn't I count. still can't. I still can't uh, fart in front of my wife. Hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Y'all not that comfortable. We we are. We just don't want to put each other through that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like you know what I'm saying? So, Nothing like, just popped yeah. out. Yeah, I don't know. That makes sense. <laughs> no, it's like, like a, random, it's like a don't I don't like. I don't want to put you through that. I get it. I know what my Dude, fart. How do you prep for farts? I yeah. know what my farts my smell. Shit just I comes. know what my farts smell <laughs> like, and I'm just like. Let me ask you this: as a performer, <laughs> I've busted ass on stage. Okay. A few oh. times and at comedy clubs. Right. And I literally walked away to tell a joke and I walked back into it. I go, I know they smell it. <laughs> I know <laughs> everybody <laughs> smells it. Why are they reacting? I had to fart. <laughs> like, I had to like, fart. <laughs> I had to fart on stage recently at Rolling Loud. Oh wow. Like really, really <laughs> fucking <laughs> recently. <laughs> at Rolling and Loud. And I tried to bust one and it turned out to not be a fart. Oh, and I was shark? like, uh, I'm not even gonna yourself? try. But no, I didn't try myself, but I felt the edge of it. I was and like, you had to oh, catch it real quick and tighten up. Now is not the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And you gotta really hold it together because yeah, it might I was get leaky. Like, okay, and you gotta think like I, my shit is high energy. Yeah. When I had, yeah. to, I had to shit shit. It would have came out. Oh. And it, I was just like, this ain't the time. I need Not. to chill. Maybe we we. Maybe <laughs> okay. We, so here's the question. Maybe we, here's the question. Let me revisit this. Um, this was like, uh, oh, this is like early in the show. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this was like sexy. So you, you know what? That's impressive because that's good. You held it together that long. Yeah. I'm well, I know, I know, I know, I know when I got a shit. She whined and I'm short. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere, but I'm farting. <laughs> I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> she grind and she whined and I'm short. Yeah, exactly. And I just thought I was farting. <laughs> I know when I got a shit. Mm-hmm. I know when I got a shit, and I know how to, I, I have I have maximum control of my sphincter, my nigga. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. All right, there you yeah. go. With the words. You see, you see what I'm talking there about? I got like, maximum maximum effort control, control of my, my sphincter. Control his shit. Yeah. I, so I I pinch it. Yeah. You know Pop what I'm saying? Out. Even if I got something going on, if I like start my Twitch stream or something like that, and I got a shit upstairs, I know how to pinch it off. Pinch. Uh huh. Mm. I pinch it off. Yeah. Let's go to a sponsor. It. How do you sponsor after like, that? Like, shut it down. Kitty feces. Figure it out. Shit. Cat coffee. Cat coffee. Is where cat, cat coffee. <laughs> cat cat shit. coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Net Boy Radio Podcast. Gary Owen, what is the song of the week? Right. Song of the week will go with Givian. I like Givian. Okay. Givian. Heartbreak anniversary. Here we go. Let's All fucking right. do it. The Nappy Boy Radio song of the week. <laughs> That's it, man. All right. You did it. it was amazing. Oh, he's got tour dates. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Yeah, let's go. Tour dates, you piece of shit. All right. Uh... <laughs> Gary. Yes. It's time for the button game. Here we go. Gary. A man walks into your house. That was me still. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. I thought I was still making a noise. I was like, Bleh. no, we're still Wait, I thought it was quiet. Yeah, that was good. It was good. Gary. The humming effect. Like, yes. A man walks into your house, into your common area, and he says, I have a button here. Open the box. There's a button. He says, You can hit this button. When you hit the button, you get anything you want. Anything. Uh, material, tangible, one time. And it only happens once. But when you hit it, somebody's gotta die. Dead. Easy choice, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> Sorry, it is. So the man says. You can have anything you want in the world. Tangible. A tangible thing. It's not a magic Material. button. It's not a magic button. Yeah, it doesn't make yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't yeah, heal yeah. the world, make it a better place. Uh it's a tangible thing. Uh what would be that thing that you will hit that button for and say fuck up? Because it could be anybody. It could be the person next to you. It can be your phone. Oh fuck. It could, it could be it could be a, 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 a th- this is the list. The list I like to go down, um, it could be a uh, it could be a very old person that was ready to die, ready to go. Could be a criminal that needed to die. Could be a fucking baby. Could be your kids. Could be your kids. You Whoa. know, you have no idea. You have no idea. And your kids have crazy good hair. It can be the I, <laughs> They do. So they do. you don't want to interrupt that hair. No, they got like, good that's hair. That's a real thing. Uh, so. You hit this thing, you hit this button, you get anything you want, but somebody gotta fucking die. Jesus. That wasn't supposed to die. Yeah. They die because you wanted that thing. What's that thing that you would be like? One thing. Fuck them kids. Jeez. What are some of the past answers? We can't uh, tell we, you that. We, we, we've, yeah, I can, I can, I can say, a couple, I can say a couple of them. I can say yeah. a couple can of them. Okay. They, they've been... Literally something from the number one song in the world mm. to fried chicken from a certain spot. Mm. Like it's been, it's been fucked. The number one song in the world is a material thing. Yeah, yeah. having a number one song. Yeah, like mm. it only happens once. Uh, so when you hit it, it's one thing. That somebody said. Happen. Somebody said. Somebody said. Super dope head. 
once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super like blowjob? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh people are shallow. You were yeah. no wow. idea. Yeah. yeah, oh no, this isn't like a I can see where he cut that out of Hannibal's <laughs> interview. <laughs> Hannibal said Hannibal said if his uh left big toe would be would be, would be fixed. Photogenic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there were no more noble answers yeah. as well. Nobody yeah. has a noble answer to this. First yeah. of all, this is not something you should. You should Why did you ask me this? Like five the, drinks. There's, there's this another, shouldn't be well, like a good. thing. First of all, this shouldn't be a thing you right. are able to answer. And everlasting like, blunt was also one of them that just never goes out. It stays lit. Oh that. yeah, who was that? Um, uh, Dot from. Uh, Earth oh Game. yeah, I'm gonna tell you somebody want to know. Okay. Mm. It's just some, if I can. If I get like it's a material thing though. Yeah, it's, it's one time. It's one, one time though. It's not like it's gonna happen time. over and over. One time. Like I can get the answer to something. Is that material? I want the yeah because to it's, it, no, that's tangible. No, no, it's it not. is tangible. No, it's Things not. No, it's not. That's because that's, that's knowledge. That's knowledge. But that, but it's got to be a thing. It's got to be a thing that's like well, knowledge is a thing, right? No, it's not. <laughs> I, can know, you hold I know. I know. I know tangible. Okay, I know what tangible. I see you. Can you hold knowledge in your hand? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of a what would you call it, hopeless romantic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hopeless though. Hope hopeful romantic. So I would say I don't want to get another divorce. So the next the next one it's gotta last forever. A uh, uh, okay. uh, faithful dope wife. Faithful dope wife. Yeah. Fuck That'd em. be good. You kill somebody for that. That's a thing. They could die. That's a thing. Fire. If that if I get a faithful dope wife, um with fucking a head games crazy. <laughs> okay. Now you're going now. No, now I'm sorry. Gonna, it's a th- you it's can't a thing. Now, okay now. It's now it's turning, hold on, hold on. It's wouldn't turning that, into something else. Right, no. Wouldn't that Jesus. be part of the wouldn't, wouldn't, no, wouldn't that be part of the dope part though? That yeah, that'd be dope. dope. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd just, be dope. Uh, yeah. I mean the faithful dope ass wife knows down for you. Um uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be yeah. good. Shut it down. We good. We did it. That's a very good answer. Yo, very good fucking answer. God damn it. Shut it down. Shut, Shut it down. down. We'll be back. Thank you. Guys. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nappy Boy Radio Podcast. I am your homeboy, T-Pain, a.k.a. your girlfriend's boyfriend. I am Vanessa Fraction, a.k.a. Action Fraction, the main attraction. And I am the Black Amigo, a.k.a. Tequila Tarzan. You got one of those? I am Gary Owen. Put that pussy on a platter with that patty melt pussy from Waffle House. Go. Okay. Oh. Go. okay. You know what? I'm Gary yes. Owen, aka put that pussy on a platter with that patty melt pussy from Waffle House. There it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, keep that pussy there smothered and covered, baby. That makes sense. <laughs> Keep that pussy diced. I like it. Diced and sliced. Uh, Gary, Gary, we're going to give you your creative curse word of the week. Now, what you do is you grab this book. It's going to open, and then you have two sides. You're going to Fuck, split. I got an early flight. <laughs> this is it. This is it. I swear to God, this is it. You're going to you're gonna flip to a random page on this side. Then you're going to flip to a random page on this do side. It. And do that it. is your creative curse word of the week. Gary Owen, tell me what your creative curse word of the week is. Boom, boom. <laughs> Fart jockey. How'd I know? What is this? Fart, Fart jockey. jockey. Oh my Fart goodness. jockey. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Gary Owen. It was Owen. basically T-Pain and Rolling Loud. <laughs> Ro- uh, yeah. It was this a is... fart jockey. Now you have to use that in, in a, a sense. sense. Mm-hmm. Fart jockey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You thought this was gonna be easy? You thought this was gonna be some shit I'm, you was ready I'll for? I'll turn it? into a rhyme. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a Let's freestyle go. this shit. Freestyle yeah. that shit, baby. Oh, yeah. Go. I'm knowing white, but I don't play hockey. <laughs> when I go to Waffle House, I turn into a fart jockey. <laughs> Smothered and covered. I'm your number one lover. Oh. Bring her over the house, only if you my spouse. <laughs> faithful wife is faithful wife will be dope as shit. Be good if she got some firm ass tip. <laughs> going somewhere. Every day I can keep this right going. I keep it flowing. Day and night, black or white. This rhyme is right on time. T Pain said in Mexico they got Sprite with the good lemon and lime. Ladies and gentlemen, mother Gary Owen and this mother Yeah! Bye! This is the Nappy Boy Radio Podcast. This is the Nappy 
Radio Bar.